10 weeks out from a show and I looked six weeks out. And, you know, it's, it's crazy, but I can't really, I honestly can't tell you guys that look. What's up guys and welcome, you are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So starting this video off with the physical update of the retired German bodybuilding legend, who looks absolutely fantastic at the age of 44. So is he looking to make a comeback in 2024 for the Masters Olympia? Well, he did leave a cheeky comment to let the fans wonder and speculate about it. So Dennis Wolf has openly talked about how he fell into depression after being forced to retire from professional bodybuilding. And the reason was, he was really coming into his own at that time. If you guys remember, he placed fourth in 2015 Mr. Olympia, his last year before he got injured. So he was actually heading towards his prime. And then that tragic accident happened. Although he did try to come back, that was back in 2018 Arnold Classic. But even during the prep for that show, he realized that the old Dennis is never coming back. And maybe it was good for the German bodybuilding legend that he had to walk away from the sport. I mean, just look at the number of great bodybuilders that we lost in the last few years. So he is really fit, he's healthy, he's athletic, and he is really enjoying his life. So why Dennis Wolf never came close to becoming a Mr. Olympia champion? Well, we have a very simple answer for that. Because it was the era of the legend Phil Heath. Not to mention Kai Green as well. So what was your favorite version of Dennis Wolf? I remember him stating that the 2007 Olympia, where he had very young vibrant muscles, that was extremely good in his eyes. Next up is Sam Sandala's 10 weeks old physique update. I want you guys to listen to him on how he is feeling this far out of the show and how his body is reacting. This is, this is, we, we planned this like, we, it's just the body, our body is shocking us in crazy way and I don't even know. I'm looking at myself and I'm thinking, damn, okay, whatever it is that we're doing right now is obviously working extremely well. We're growing and we're getting lean at the same time. And we just gonna keep doing it. I don't know where it, what makes sense about what it is or exactly what numbers or what, whatever we're putting together, whatever we're running, but it's happening and we're looking at it, we're just thinking how insane this is and how freakish it's looking. So I will tell you all now, man, it's gonna be a freaking crazy ass Olympia. So the man is getting leaner without even pushing things the way they did last year. Samson is so round, he's so complete from the front and the side, that he can stand next to anybody and hold his own extremely well. I think Andrew Jack probably has the best front lash spread in the bodybuilding right now, and the only person who can stand next to Andrew and give him a serious run for his money in that shot is none other than Samson. His claws are looking bigger and better than ever, especially than what we saw at the Arnold in March. And that is a bad news for all the short and stocky kind of bodybuilders. Now the big question is, will Milos be able to bring Samson in a condition that is better than what we saw at the Arnold Classic this year? That is yet to be seen. Because if they are in fact able to do that, then there is no way Samson finishes outside of the top three. And the same shit is happening now again. I mean, you saw the Arnold, it's so much different we look between the Olympia and the Arnold that that was just back, just baffled the mind, you know. And now we're looking at something like that happening again. But the whole thing is, I'm just as big as I am in the off-season, but I'm getting leaner and we don't really have a foothold on why. Other than the fact that, okay, yeah, we cut the food a bit. And that was it. We haven't changed anything yet. Cardio hasn't added in fat burners, all that, all the steak stuff we do is a stimulant that we put up to start getting the body to drop body fat. We haven't done yet, but it's just a little bit of cuts of food and we just get in tighter in a rapid rate. So the secret is finally out. 
Nathan DHR reveals only this much previously. That is working with a new coach, so today we got to see who that man actually is. That is the same coach helping two of the top eight Olympians in classic physique division, Ors and Wesley. He's known for bringing his guys shredded. So going with his track record and Nathan's track record, I think they are gonna bring it here in Italy Pro. The only weakness that Nathan Diesha has are his hamstrings. But the thing is, that has always been the case. And he placed as high as top 7th in the world with those same hammies. So that goes to show us that there is so much going on in that physique that the judges reward him for that. It is pretty much understood at this point that Italy Pro is gonna come down to Nathan and Regan. As these guys will most probably be the last two men standing here. And most people have Regan Grimes winning this one, based on the progress that he has made over the last year, and also based on the progress pictures that he has released in the last couple of weeks. That being said, it has been proven time and time again never to judge someone by the Instagram pictures. So the stage is set, and we are gonna witness a great battle in just two weeks' time. So who are you guys rooting for? Do let me know in the comments below. And hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.